it's amazing what the animators did with this. I was surprised by that too, and surprised at how much I do this. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Clearly, while between lines, I was like, and the animators were like, ooh, that's the character right there. <laughs> A lot of times, a lot of stories, they're, they're iconic, you know, if, if, they're, if they're done well. They're kind of like a myth that sort of point to something you have don't really have words for. You know, like something that we all have inside us, which you know, we connect with. And uh, that's what it did for me. There's generations of family, you know, how we misunderstand each other, how we understand each other, how we think we're so different from, you know, the generation before us the traits that we share, the things we want to change that we think we have that we realize we haven't, you know, that they find themselves having skipped a generation. All those things, those ideas really moved me too. And I think also just the idea that a family unit and how it works affects everything outside of it. And there was a real promise that we'd be able to play and explore and bring our own ideas. And, and to me, that got me really excited. I agree. I, I really thought that the um, the creators, they pitched a great story, but they, they themselves were so experienced and creative and welcoming. It was really hard to say no because, you know, even then they, they didn't have a script to present me, but they had this world that they imagined and they have obviously had been working on it for a long time. And, you know, to be invited into that world to fulfill this, you know, position and bring it to life was really exciting. And um, I think that the, the broader picture of uh, acceptance and to make something a given as opposed to sort of hitting it over the head was something that I really appreciated. I, I think that for me, people are constantly saying like, Asian American actress, you know, it's just, it doesn't need all of those adjectives. It could just be an actress. And I think that's what their world is. And I liked being a part of that world without explanation or exposition. That's something that I really appreciated. Yeah, just everything being a given. So post having to explain things, post having to identify or point things out, I think that just being so baked into it just gave it a sense of reality. It felt real and it felt like it actually reflected the world that we live in. Because yeah, like you don't walk into the room and immediately yeah. announce like, this is who I am. Right. But just the layers that the story incorporates in terms of personal and just communal societal storytelling and the ways that we all interact with each other. I think that gave it a sense of urgency where I felt I have to do this. And not only am I going to do this and excited to do this, it genuinely feels like something that is necessary and important. And I think anytime you get that opportunity or something comes across your plate like that, you have to take it. And the world is so Strange. <laughs> I mean, no, like the, the the images and the imagery are were you know that they showed us from the beginning were so original, and then the reasons why the world is the way it is, which is to be discovered when you see the movie, made it great. At the beginning, we were all imagining it. You know, yeah. we had like something they told us and then Don would say, oh, this thing looks like this. So uh, there are a million of these like blobby things over your head. And you know, you have to, you're fighting with this squishy piece of tree or, you know, it's like those, are the, and so you're trying to imagine it. Um, and at first, what I thought in my head uh, was, you know, different than what, what, yeah. what, what appeared. Much different imagination. I haven't seen the movie yet. Yeah. I, all my, I, it's so it's still in my imagination. <laughs> so I'm still living. I want to know what weird blobby thing is in Dennis Quaid's imagination. <laughs> They're really just going for authentic emotion and within an authentic story, you know. And that's, I think that's what really makes the movie. Yeah, there were moments when we were doing sessions where it got, it was funny and fun, and there were times. Uh, or it got really emotional, you know? I mean, like, I spent, I don't know how you guys feel, but I was in the room with Don and Quee, like, maybe twice in person, and then the rest of our sessions were from afar. And I feel really close to them. Almost like I spent, you know, five months, maybe well, a year making a movie with them in person. 
Yeah, it was like doing it for an audience because there'd be like nine people in there, yeah. you know, and everyone had an opinion, but the, you know, it wasn't but like a committee or anything. It was like with the collaboration, we were all like dedicated to getting this right. I want you to come with me on an expedition. I'm not my father. He was the explorer. I know you were just a kid when you went missing, but now you're all we got. Mr. Clade, I'm a huge fan oh, thank you. of your dad. Do you think you could forge his autograph? What? They're describing, you know, screaming, but in in ways it's like a long scream, but a short scream, but you're falling and then you're grasping for something. So you just hope that you're doing, you know, justice to what they're envisioning. And that's to me more difficult. And I just, you know, what I decided was I'm just gonna absolutely go for it. And, you know, sure. you know it's right when you know, you've lost your voice by the end of the session. I feel like you guys got got yours pretty quick. I feel like I did a hundred more sessions than everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, Jake, that was, that was uh, last one wasn't what we would call a waste of time, but um, <laughs> if you don't mind doing it all over again and trying to do it better, that'd be great. But they were really good about knowing when they got it. Okay. And letting it, because <laughs> then they left you alone. <laughs> yeah, I thought I got it at the end of one session and then we'd get to the next one and they'd be like, so um, we're going back to that scene again. And I'd be like, we didn't even know that a hundred times. Or like, yeah, it's, but it's, we could try it again, you know? So, um, but yeah, there were, I did a lot of takes of many lines. Grandpa's awesome. He is not awesome. You gave me a machete for my birthday. <laughs> Classic Jaeger claimed. I was too. I'm loving this family reunion, but come on, we got a world to save. We need you to figure this out, otherwise we're doomed. We are doomed! Wait, seriously? <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. I uh, wasn't ready to see how accurately they got our movements. That really, that was a shock. Um, there's there's some like bits in there where I'm like, did I act this out for them and I forgot? Like, it, it, it's amazing what the animators did with this. Yeah, I was surprised by that too, and surprised at how much I do this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Clearly, while between lines, I was like, and the animators were like, ooh, that's the character right there. <laughs> the searcher is just like the whole time. They actually worked through the entire thing from top to bottom. And I think that was really very unusual, you know, because for any animator, it's sort of like time is money. And so they're like, let's just get the five or 10 lines right now and then we'll move on. But they really focused on the entire script as a whole so that you could really understand it. Um, and then they focused on what it was that you were doing. And that was so unusual. Um, and it actually really gave the best performance because you really knew where you were going and where you were coming from without, you know, having the explanation of it beforehand. So that was really unique.